Gosh, I'm so excited about this next kit. Scent Club kit number nine has just dropped. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. We've got some changes here and updates and things like that. I've got it all written down here. I'm gonna to talk to you about it. I'm gonna do that and then tell you about what's coming up as well in the future and then tell you about the three of the fragrances in this latest Scent Club kit. So find out all about Scent Club kit number nine and the future of Scent Club coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about Scent Club kit number nine. This one's an exciting one for me. I have curated three amazing fragrances for this kit, and they ended up somehow coming together for this ninth kit with, with new updates to the bottles and things like that. So I'm going to talk to you about all those changes that are in the kit. But uh, I want to let you know... Um, after doing some surveys, uh, my customer service team did some surveys via email and uh, we listened to the feedback and everything and we made the changes that are for the good. And I've been promising that the bottles were going to be updated. And finally, finally for kit number nine, they are updated. Here I'll show you. They are now crimped. So this kit actually is exactly what I've been wanting to get at and it took us up to the ninth kit to get there. So it took us a long time because when you order products for kits, you have to kind of use up uh, the old bottles and things like that. So the, the, the black bottles uh, had to be used and so we've used them up. Although we do have some kit number five and kit number eight available right now. We've got around... 25 of kit number eight and about 35 of kit number five that's still selling with the old bottles and again we don't ever redo the the fragrances i mean the kits that's what i should say but sometimes there's fragrance left over or juice left over so we might drop a few more kits which is what happened with kit number eight so with kit number eight we've done about 400 kits or maybe 450 i think and uh with uh, kit number five around the same quantity so those are now selling in addition to the latest kit and these bottles are crimped now so we shouldn't we shouldn't have any issues with spillage or leakage but we feel like since these are hand crimped not like professionally produced bottles of perfume that you go to a department store and buy so there might still be some leakage due to heat and things like that there should not be any problems with this kit. And I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way these came out. Really uh, exactly what I wanted to get at. And also the bottles, like for this particular kit, we have created one that's going to be officially what the, the, the product's going to be like. But the bottles are bigger. You will get a little more juice than 5 mLs. The previous bottles were 5. We're not filling them up all the way to the top until probably the next kit or the future kits where we're requesting a lot more juice uh, for the kit. So for now, we're starting off filled more than five, but not exactly seven. These uh, bottles will hold uh, seven milliliters of juice. So by the time with the next kit at number 10, I think we'll get to exactly seven. So you'll be getting the same, you know, same kind of, uh, you're gonna get more juice, I should say. You're gonna get more juice with better bottles, clear bottles, you can see the, the juice now, how much is left and things like that. And uh, so, and you're gonna, not, we're not gonna raise the price on the kits and things like that. So yeah, so the bottle size has increased. We didn't increase the price, which is uh, really, really great for you guys. And by the time the 10th kit comes, you'll end up getting seven mils rather than five mils of juice. The screw top sprayers are no more, they are crimped. So this will eliminate leakage. Yeah, but the only thing I think I've, uh, I've got notes down, what I, what I remember happening last year during the heat waves, some kits were leaking as they were left in mailboxes in the heat and things like that. So we don't know for, for sure if that will happen with these kits. I, mean, I don't know if the heat's going to do the same thing, but they are crimped now. Uh, and then a lot of you were mentioning the black bottles are not good because you can't see how much juice is left. So that's why we also did uh, uh, clear bottles. Lastly, 
We are not doing a pamphlet-like situation anymore. These are just little cards that will uh, go inside the box. And um, I think it's great. I think this kit is amazing. This is exactly where I wanted to be. But after nine kits, it's finally there for me. It took nine nine kits to get to the place I wanted to be. So the, the box is uh, very much the same. Every, and then again, I think we really have improved upon the bottles and everything else. So going forward, I think it's even going to get better, like I said, with more juice and things like that. And so, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. So as I was saying, we have kit number five and eight left. About 25 more of eight, about 35 more of five. Everything else has sold out. And then recently we dropped about 30 or 35 more of eight because we had some more juice left. So take advantage of kit number five and eight before those run out for good. Kit number five has fragrances, Fleur de Lalita from Ducita, Wake Up World from Parle Moi de Parfum, and also One Day, no, Oolong uh, Tea by One Day. So that's kit number five. And then kit number eight was Vana Gloria by Laboratorio Olfativo. We have Methexis from Manos Geraquinas Parfums. And then finally, the third fragrance and kit number eight was Disco by Zernel Gilly. So those are going to sell out. Take advantage of those. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mystery Box. The next Mystery Box, we don't have an official drop date. I'm putting together the fragrances for it right now, and I'm starting to coordinate with the brands. So that should happen within the next couple of months. And I feel like you guys really enjoy the Mystery Boxes, so we have up the quantity of them for the next drop. We don't know the quantity of samples that are going to be in the kit, but uh, something between the first two. So stay tuned for that as well. And I really love putting together the mystery boxes, but we are handing it off to our fulfillment team that does these kits as well. Uh, but uh, we did the first two and uh, the demand was great. And we sold probably 400 of uh, the mystery boxes on the last round about 300 for the first round and I think we're going to up it to about 500 on the next one maybe yeah around 500 all right so let's talk about the fragrances in kit number nine this is a great selection of fragrances as I said this is what it looks like so let me show you kit number nine so I guess these are basically here here are the fragrances you guys can recognize what they are, right? These are three fragrances that I am or have been talking about. So we've got Dolce Melodia from Sospiro at the number one spot. We got Oman Luxury's Royal Incense. And then we have Giardini di Toscana's Bianco Latte. Three amazing fragrances for kit number nine. So Dolce Melodia is this one right here. That is Dolce Melodia, right? So again, this was one of my favorite discoveries of 2023. And you guys have been asking me to do a comparison between this one and also the one that comes in the white bottle with the Melodia written in purple. Stay tuned for a video on that very soon. Uh, I'll tell you all about the differences, but honestly, I prefer this version over the other. I've compared them. I actually ended up buying a bottle, but you'll hear all about it. But Dolce Melodia by Sospiro is a 2023 launch. Christian Provenzano is the perfumer, featuring notes of gardenia, mandarin, vanilla, white musk, sandalwood, orange, pear, black currant. It's a great smelling amber floral, amber fruity floral fragrance. Man, it's good. Really garners compliment. It smells fantastic, very long lasting, super amazing. Just a bright sunshine of a fragrance. I, and that color, I, I, I can see that color. It's, it's got warmth, but it's all surrounded with lots of freshness. The flowers and the fruits, super d delicious. And this is going to be a really, really popular kit, I feel like, because some of the fragrances are not as easy to get and also on the pricier side, including Sospiro's Dolce Melodia. Again, one of my favorite fragrances of 2023. I featured it in countless videos and things like that, mentioning how I enjoy this. It garners compliments as well, and so I hope you guys get your nose on it. It is in Scent Club Kit number nine, as I showed you the photo right here. So fragrance number two happens to be Oman Luxury's Royal Incense. I've been a fan of this one for so, some time. I discovered it at the end of 2022, 
maybe around the mid 2022 because I first discovered it at Jovoy, the collection, and instantly went for this one. And they had told me that this was a popular uh, item at their store, so they were selling quite a bit of. This came out in 2020, whereas the previous fragrance that I spoke about in 2023, but I did mention the previous fragrance. There was a version of it in a white bottle with purple writing. That version came out earlier as well. So you'll find out more about that in the other video as I was talking about. But Royal Incense is a great combination of incense and honey together. It's super delicious, super intoxicating. Created by Philippine Courtier. It has notes of incense, honey, amber, leather, cedar, musk, geranium, vetiver, lily, and pink pepper. So kind of similar to the idea of Vanagloria, whereas that one is incense with vanilla and leather. This one also has a bit of leather, but for me, the le leather is not as prominent in this one as it was in Vanagloria. And also I get a rosy effect in here, most likely caused by the geranium, but there's no mention of rose in Royal Incense. But this is an incense honey bomb, works like Vanagloria, but in this case it's honey versus the vanilla. But it's super, super amazing. I absolutely really, really love it. It wears great, it smells great, and the contrast of the honey versus the incense, amazing, amazing, amazing con contrast. And the other thing I should also say, there was a fragrance by the house of Killian called Incense Oud, where it was more incense and hardly any oud. This kind of reminds me of it, but more in a direction of honey. Like the honey is really prominent in this, really cuts through the incense. And you still get the incense's smokiness, the church-like effect. This was recently featured in my Smell Like a Church uh, video. If you haven't caught that, go catch it. So you get that combo here, but man, it is really, really great, along with that rosiness that kind of hints at uh, the incense oud. And that's what I that's where I get the incense oud combination because incense oud by Killian did have a rosiness. It's been a while since I've uh, experienced that fragrance or, or looked it up, but there are some similarities between this fragrance and the other, but this one definitely the prominence is a lot of honey. The honey is major, major prominence in this one, but a great fragrance and I'm so grateful to have been able to feature this one in my kit along with Sospiro's Dolce Melodia, but the next one is also a really, really great one. And last, and last but not least, it is Giardini di Toscana's Bianco Latte. So this one, I don't have a year of release date. It's not anywhere to be found, but the fragrance is created by Silvia Martinelli. And all the fragrances of this house, the fragrances are created by Silvia Martinelli. And again, an amazing discovery from last year. Smells super divine. Really powdery, lactonic fragrance with gourmand notes. It's very marshmallowy and also fluffy. There's a fluffiness about it, plus the milky lactonic qualities. It features notes of caramel, vanilla, coumarin, like tonka beans, and white musk. So there's not a lot of notes mentioned, but you really, really, really get to experience the caramel, the vanilla, the tonka, coumarin combo, the white musks in here. And it wears very milky, like imagine melted caramel in a kind of a milky consistency. There's that creaminess, the sweetness, the stickiness. It is quite powdery as well. Really, really, oh my God, it smells good. It smells like an over intense, fragrant ice cream. If I'm a big lover of vanilla ice cream, I think it's my favorite flavor, much more than chocolate. I love, because you can dress it up, add things to it, and it won't contrast. Like you can't do that a lot with chocolate, but with vanilla, you can. And for me, the fragrant smell of vanilla is so amplified. It smells like this. It's super, super delicious. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to get this fragrance. Three of my most hyped fragrances from the last couple of years here in kit number nine. This is a great kit, guys. I hope you guys don't miss out on this one. This one is going to sell out really, really fast. And I'm not sure we have juice left over on this one. So whatever we have, we have and we'll be done ASAP. 
ASAP. But take advantage of it now. It's selling now. We did open it up to past purchasers of kits yesterday. So it's halfway sold out most likely because that's usually what happens by the time we open it up to the public. So take advantage of that now. You won't be disappointed with this kit because these three fragrances are really, really amazing. But just to wrap it up, I want to say there are a few more kit number five and eights available. Get them now and then get this uh, new and improved kit, which I'm so, so happy with the results. I, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, our fulfillment company's results in providing us with uh, the best looking kit so far. And uh, again, I want to offer it to you guys so you guys can enjoy fragrances that you've been trying to enjoy that you haven't been able to get your nose on. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.